Hello, Finance Homefront viewers. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest insights into the world of finance and cryptocurrency. Remember, I'm not here to offer financial advice, just sharing my personal journey and thoughts as we explore the markets together. Today, we're diving into a big topic, Bitcoin's latest consolidation phase and the potential for a major breakout. So let's get into it and uncover what could be next for Bitcoin and the broader crypto market. Thanks again for joining and let's jump right in. In this discussion, I'll be diving into Bitcoin's lengthy consolidation period, spanning roughly 200 days. We're at a critical point where Bitcoin is testing the upper trend line and we can clearly observe the resistance levels emerging. Today, I want to explore what this resistance might mean for Bitcoin and its broader implications. Before we zoom into the current trend, let's take a moment to step back and reflect on where we are in the cycle. I recently came across a post from Crypto Rover that perfectly captures my sentiment regarding Bitcoin's market outlook. He mentioned that the bull market for Bitcoin is underway. I feel very aligned with this viewpoint, not in a boastful, I told you so way, but because it resonates with my own research and intuition. I've shared similar analyses on my YouTube channel, tracking these trends not just for my viewers, but as part of my personal crypto journey. I've repeatedly seen data that supports this bullish sentiment, although as always, it's crucial to remember that no outcome is guaranteed. This is a massive moment, yet not a certainty, as I often remind myself and my audience. Looking at the technical analysis over the years, there is an interesting projection, a potential Bitcoin price of $233,000 by 2025. An analyst has estimated this figure based on historical trends using the Relative Strength Index, RSI. For those unfamiliar, the monthly RSI is a straightforward indicator that helps illustrate the cyclical nature of the crypto market. It doesn't require a deep understanding of technical analysis to see where the market has potential. When Bitcoin's RSI reaches certain levels, it has historically indicated a peak in Bitcoin's price. By analyzing these past trends, we can potentially see how high Bitcoin might climb. Historically, these RSI highs have coincided with rapid increases in Bitcoin's price. For example, in a previous cycle, Bitcoin's price skyrocketed from $10,000 to $60,000 within seven months. This ascent was largely driven by a significant purchase of 400,000 Bitcoin by Grayscale. This time around, there's even more money in the market, with trillions of dollars from institutional finance poised to enter after price discovery. There's no doubt that as Bitcoin approaches new highs, institutional FOMO, fear of missing out, will play a significant role in price action. Switching over to Bitcoin's monthly chart, one can see a simple but powerful picture of past bull markets through the RSI. The yellow lines represent Bitcoin's halving events, which are typically followed by increased momentum in price action. Currently, we're positioned at a point similar to previous cycles, where Bitcoin is on the verge of an upward trend in the RSI. Based on this analysis, some projections even suggest that Bitcoin could reach a quarter million dollar price point. This estimate is derived from examining historical peaks in monthly RSI, which correspond to Bitcoin's explosive price growth. The market dynamics are quite different this time around. If Bitcoin experiences another rapid ascent, as it did in previous cycles, it's essential to remember that the market can move very quickly. When Bitcoin does break out of a long sideways trend, as we've seen in the past, it often experiences sharp parabolic growth. Many may assume that this growth will be gradual, but the reality is often quite the opposite. During the last cycle, Bitcoin went from $10,000 to $60,000 in less than seven months. This rapid growth was propelled by substantial buying from institutions. Now, with trillions waiting in traditional finance, the potential for even faster growth exists. Currently, we're observing an ongoing shift in Bitcoin holdings. Over the past 200 days, Bitcoin has been steadily leaving exchanges, suggesting a potential supply shock. Institutional investors have been quietly buying Bitcoin, which might set the stage for a significant price increase. BlackRock's Larry Fink 
recently stated that Bitcoin could eventually rival the size of the United States housing market, which is valued at approximately $50 trillion. He suggested that Bitcoin might reach a market cap of $1 trillion by 2040, indicating substantial long-term growth potential. From a strategic perspective, it's essential to consider that many influential people are now advocating for Bitcoin. Figures like Larry Fink have substantial sway in the financial world, and their endorsement could catalyze even more institutional adoption. In my view, with such influential figures involved, there's a high probability that they will work to ensure Bitcoin's success, further reinforcing the asset's credibility and stability. On the weekly Bitcoin chart, we see some interesting developments, especially in the MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator. The Macy D line is poised to cross above the red signal line, which is typically seen as a bullish sign. This movement is similar to what occurred in October 2023. When Bitcoin enters these parabolic phases, the MACD often serves as an early indicator. Watching how this weekly candle closes will be crucial as it could provide further confirmation of a bullish trend. I also want to highlight the impact of recent inflows into Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs. Spot Bitcoin ETFs have seen a staggering inflow of $550 million, bringing the total to nearly $20 billion. This level of interest far exceeds initial pre-launch expectations and suggests that institutional demand is strong. I believe that much of this demand is coming from advisors and institutional investors rather than retail buyers. Retail investors, or degenerate retail, as some might say, haven't even entered the market yet based on social indicators. This cycle is unique because institutional investors are adopting Bitcoin gradually, making the current cycle quite different from previous ones. This institutional involvement is mirrored in the RSI which now reflects the significant inflows into Bitcoin ETFs. When Bitcoin approached similar cycles in the past, such institutional involvement was absent. Now, we're seeing unprecedented levels of institutional interest, which could make this cycle more intense and protracted than previous ones. Additionally, a Bitcoin supply shock is underway, with institutions buying Bitcoin and taking it off exchanges. This reduced supply could further exacerbate price increases if demand continues to rise. Turning to Bitcoin dominance, we see that it's currently hovering around 60%, a level that often marks the beginning of altcoin season. During the last cycle, Bitcoin dominance revisited this range before a significant increase in altcoin activity. At the moment, we're still witnessing a slow grind upward in Bitcoin dominance indicating that the altcoin season is not yet in full swing. However, this could change rapidly, and I believe we're still on track for a substantial altcoin rally. In terms of chart patterns, Bitcoin is now forming an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is generally a bullish signal. If Bitcoin can break above its current resistance levels, this could signify the beginning of a larger upward move. In the past, similar patterns have led to rapid price increases. On the daily chart, Bitcoin has broken out of a symmetrical triangle pattern, suggesting an upside target of between $80,000 to $90,000. It's important to monitor these patterns closely, as they provide valuable insights into potential price movements. As Bitcoin tests resistance, it's crucial to remain vigilant for possible throwbacks or dips. Bitcoin has experienced a prolonged sideways trend, and breaking out of this pattern could lead to significant volatility we could see Bitcoin testing the $62,300 level if it faces resistance, with additional support levels around $58,500 to $56,000. These levels provide a buffer zone for Bitcoin, allowing for potential retracements before the next upward push. Overall, Bitcoin is in a critical phase, testing major resistance levels on both the daily and weekly charts. The current setup suggests that we could see substantial upward movement, but it's essential to stay cautious and look for confirmations. The daily MACD has crossed above the signal line, a bullish indicator that hints at continued momentum. However, 
until Bitcoin decisively breaks through resistance, it's wise to keep an eye on potential retracement levels. As we analyze the market, it's also worth considering the impact of market sentiment. During periods of strong resistance, it's common to see a temporary dip in sentiment, especially if the market doesn't immediately break through resistance. However, the long-term outlook remains positive, especially given the significant institutional interest and ongoing Bitcoin supply shock. In conclusion, Bitcoin's current cycle appears poised for a substantial breakout. The factors aligning at this moment, RSI, MSD, institutional inflows, and supply dynamics, all suggest a potentially bullish outlook for Bitcoin. While resistance may temporarily stall progress, the overall trend points to higher highs, with potential targets around $80,000 to $90,000 in the short term and over $233,000 in the long term. As we navigate these volatile waters, remember to stay grounded, consider the larger cycles at play, and above all, stay prepared for rapid changes in the market. Thanks for sticking around until the end, Finance Homefront viewers. I hope you found today's deep dive into Bitcoin's potential breakout insightful. Remember, we're all navigating this crypto journey together and staying informed is key. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up to support the channel. I'd also love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Bitcoin's future? Drop a comment below and let's get the conversation going. Until next time, keep an eye on those charts and I'll see you in the next video.